Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Throwback League. This is a full season franchise where we went all the way back to 2017 and are playing until present time. We've already done two seasons. This the last season, I'm going to do a little clip. I did end up winning the Super Bowl at the Tennessee Titans. It's probably my favorite video in channel history. Um, go check it out. I am using the Titans. We are about to have the offseason and draft of the 2019. Now, if you guys want this to continue going to present time, all I ask is take a ton of time to make rosters-wise everything Please kill like button, 10,000 likes, and you will renew this for another season, and we will continue to move our way into the future and change the NFL. Guys, Bob bam look on the screen. Okay, I'll get into my kind of details of the offseason. Obviously, as we go, I did end up winning the Super Bowl with my team, the Tennessee Titans. Probably, like I said, it was so cool. Mariota, I went crazy with DeMarco Murray, Delady Walker. I had the most Titans year ever. Um, new additions. Honestly, one of the main new additions was the addition of Julian Edelman. He had a relatively quiet year, um, 790 and two touchdowns, but I did end up getting Julian Edelman. And then also I got Tart, and I did some really good drafting in the rookie draft last year. I, one of them, um, I drafted Darius Leonard with my first pick, and he was a superstar. He had eight and, eight and a half sacks. Um, he was a beast. And then the CPU in like the fifth round drafted me Olukan, and we made him a superstar. The guy just became a beast. Um, got a ton of sacks for us. We got a breakout and we ended up pulling off the breakout against TSAP. Those are our rookies. The other kind of pe people on the team, um, Casey lost his abilities, but we did, um, we did gain abilities, uh, with Stefan, Stefan to it, um, unfakeable and secure tacular. Um, he's one of our new additions. Guys, the draft class coming up is a really cool one. I want to start this by showing you guys the draft class. We're obviously going to be drafting today. Um, but why don't we just start off with the mock draft of who is in this. So essentially, um, mock draft one, or we'll go to mock draft two, I guess. Uh, Nick Bosa, expected to go number one overall to the Miami Dolphins. As it stands, Kyler Murray, this is Kyler Murray's draft. Quinnen Williams, Colin Farrell, um, who ended up going to the Raiders. Daniel Moneyman Jones. Devin White, Brian Burns, Big Jeffrey Simmons, uh, who went to the Titans, Rashawn Gary, TJ Hawkinson, Josh Allen, Ed Oliver, Devin Bush, Darnell Savage, Chris Linsom, Jamal, Jonathan Abram, Debo Samuel, Montez Sweat, Rocky Sin, Noah Fan, Byron Murphy, Caleb McGarry, Garrett, Josh Jacobs, Titus Howard, friend of the channel, um, Joan Taylor, Dexter Lawrence, Marquise Brown, and then Dalton. Because I have the last pick because I won the freaking Super Bowl. Shut them up, sign the check. Love you all. Um, now, I want to show you guys the prospects because... This is the best receiver draft I have ever seen in my entire life. Hollywood Brown, ridiculously fast, friend of the channel. Debo Samuel, you guys already know about Debo Samuel, absolute stud. Nikhil Harry, Canadian. Dude is a beast, six foot four, 225 pound Canadian. I wanna give the Canadian, dude, nothing would give me more joy than seeing Nikhil Harry kind of have a successful um, second chance in the league where he doesn't go to the Patriots. Me Cole, who's fast. A.J. Brown, J.J. Sega Whiteside, Deontay Johnson, who became a beast, Paris Campbell, friend of the channel, ridiculous 40 time, beast, Scary Terry, Andy Isabella, D.K. Metcalf is in this draft. He's going to go super freaking soon. Miles Boykin, Hunter Renfro, Darius, this is the best receiver. If I don't, there is a 100% chance, I'm telling you guys right now. Almost 100% chance is my biggest need on the team. I need a guy who can just go make plays for me. There's almost 100% chance that I am taking a receiver. Um, it's just a matter of who that's going to be. Also, really good tight ends in TJ Hawkinson. You can see Josh Jacobs is in this draft class. Um, left tackle, Caleb McGarry. Montez Sweat is one of the best um, power rushers. You guys know how fast he is. If he's there, I probably would have a hard time. But I'm already good at those positions. The other position of need that is probably the most pressing for me personally is corner. Byron Murphy, now a Viking. Rocky Sin, Sean Murphy Bunting out of Central Michigan. I went to Eastern Michigan. Um, Trayvon Mullen. Lonnie Johnson, Jamal Dean, who's become a really, really, really good corner. Justin Lane, Kendall Sheffield. Uh, Amon Marshall. Austin, who's become really, really good as well. At safety, you have Darnell Savage and Thornhill, both two great stars. Mike, friend of the channel, Edwards. Shout out to you, Mike Edwards. Sheldon, I don't drink, but I don't mind red wine. Jonathan Abram, Marquise Brulaire, um, CJ Gardner. We're going to get lots more into the draft class. As I said, we have pick 32 because we did win the Super Bowl. The receivers are so deep in this draft. That's where I'm thinking. Now, let's go negotiate with our players. Our cap situation, like I said, these caps are legit, are really, really realistic. And I have a couple of tough decisions to make. Now, the first one being, 
um, DeMarco Murray. Now, DeMarco Murray initially, obviously a lot of you guys ask the question all the time, where's Derrick Henry? Where's Derrick Henry? In this alternate universe, DeMarco Murray just doesn't retire and continues to be a beast. And Henry doesn't really get a chance. Currently, throughout these seasons, I have had no reason to go to Henry. And just because Henry became a beast at IRL, that's what this is all about, recreating the NFL. And in this last season, DeMarco Murray became a superstar for me. How do I get rid of a guy who just got superstar abilities? Um, he had an unbelievable year. He was the best player on the team. The guy was an absolute freaking stud. Um, the other person that I want to kind of talk about that I thought was so cool that got an ability in the offseason was Morris Claiborne. Second chance, for those of you who remember Morris Claiborne, such a beast. Um, he had such a good year for us that he actually got development. He had seven interceptions for us in this season. Dude went crazy. We signed him in free agency. Um, it's not even a crazy expensive deal. And he became our first superstar defensive player, which was awesome. Um, another one shocked me. Uh, probably the happiest superstar of all of them. He had one and a half sacks, one force fumble, but 44 tackles. This one quite legitimately shocked me. I didn't even think he's had a good year. He had five and five, 10 interceptions since I've been doing this. Um, but I was completely shocked when KB got superstar. Happy, absolutely to the moon. I wasn't even online when this happened. Someone texted me and they're like, Kevin Byer got superstar. And I was like, Kevin Byer we got superstar. And I think it's partly yeah, I don't, because he's a real player that they've made. I have no idea, but guys, just like IRL, Kevin freaking Byer is now a superstar. This team got a lot better through one season. My defense is looking very, very, very tough. Now, it's time to make some tough decisions before we get into free agency because we do have money. Um, in terms of the league, we actually have some of the better contracts. Mariota, I, haven't, I don't have to pay for a little bit. Jarrell Casey, let's talk Jarrell Casey. I signed him to a one-year deal. I'm not signing him again. I apologize, Jarrell Casey. I love you. You are going to do great things. I signed him to a one-year deal hoping that he would go and become a superstar. He had a really good year, but unfortunately for me, shocking for me, he didn't become a superstar. I was banking on him becoming one. He had nine sacks, 12 TFLs, and he did not become a superstar. Jack Conklin. Now, I think first off, oh my gosh, because I'm losing a Rackpo and I'm losing Morgan, but I replaced both of them. So we're, we're in pretty good shape with a lot of these contracts. Um, DeMarco Murray is the one that I care the most about and the one that I need to bring back. That's why I'm going to offer him a very player friendly. I don't want to have to think about it. I'm going to offer him a three-year, very player-friendly. I don't want to have to franchise tag him. Send it. That's a good offer. Guys, DeMarco Murray is going to be our running back for three more years. In this parallel universe, dude becomes a freaking beast for the Titans. Now, as far as the other $100 million that we have, I'm left in a very interesting situation. The, only, the person most, the most interested in bringing back that I felt like we messed up IRL was Jack Conklin. We let Jack Conklin walk, and we have not really been great since then. And this year, Jack Conklin went to the Browns. I do not intend on letting Jack Conklin go to the Browns. I am going to offer him a player-friendly um, $11.2 million. He is going to be my tackle for the next six years. The guy's a beast. I want to bring him back. I'm excited to stay. I thought we messed this up in that situation. I know our cap situation was messy, but I think we should have brought him back in that year. I now only have $82 million for free agency, which is still a good amount, but we signed my two guys that I was most. Brian Arakpo has not really panned out. Um, I have two really young guys who are better than Arakpo, cheaper than Arakpo. Last year in the draft, if you guys actually watched the last episode, I talked a lot about how I was going to try and get better younger pass rushers because I knew Derek Morgan and uh, Arakpo were both going to want a lot of money. Sure enough, Arakpo wanted $13 million and me getting bringing in two good ones um, helped that situation a ton. Guys, $82 million, free agency is coming. Um, we got a little bit of money to spend. We'll see you in free agency. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, free agency. Like I said, we got $82 million to spend. I'm glad. Oh my gosh, we got... Dude, there is some player. Oh my gosh. Okay. The big Navarro Bowman. I would bring him... Out. Dude, there are some studs in free agency. 87... Yo, the Legion. Oh, did we kill this dynasty? I think we quite literally killed the dynasty. 30-year-old Earl Thomas is going to get a bag. Tavon Austin deserves the biggest bag of money ever. 96 speed, 93 acceleration. I don't need them. I'm going to try and be realistic here of what are the things that I want most. Um, Diggs is no longer a superstar or not a superstar yet in this particular world. Dante Hightower is relatively young. Dion Buchanan. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember him. He's a beast. Where do we want to spend our money? What is, 
I, I want to go after a receiver in the draft. So if we look at, let's, let's just go position by position. If we look at receiver, who do we have? We have Diggs, Jordan Matthews, Sneed, Nelson. I don't need a receiver, okay? Um, it's not a position that I'm worried about. I don't care about it. The main positions that I feel like we are a little, we could get better at is DB. Now, Rhodes closed, I'm a big fan of. Sherman, big fan of. Sherman in a mentorship role. Prince, I loved. I loved Prince. Jamar Taylor. Rashard Robinson. Uh, safety. This is, just, this is just a good safety. Like, there's a lot of good safeties out here. ET has five offers. Oh, my gosh. Someone's going to... I'm not making the same mistake I've made in other leagues. I just won the bowl. I'm going to go for realistic things that I actually need. There's a freaking superstar quarterback. That's wild. I think the guy I'm most interested in, as crazy as it sounds, is Yonda. He's a he's 35 though. Oh, potentially a DT to replace. You know what? A defensive tackle wouldn't be a bad place to start. Linval, you have Floyd, Danny Shelton. I don't know if you guys remember Danny Shelton. He's a good player. Pecco. Even just a true defensive end. Jarrell Casey's the best one. I don't know how much interest he'll get. Cliff Avril. Jerry Hughes. Leonard Williams is only 25. He's hitting free agency at 25. He's going to want, yeah, he's going to want Jarrell Casey money. Now, I'm a little more willing to give Leonard Williams Jarrell Casey money than I am giving Jarrell Casey Jarrell Casey money because I don't know. Yeah. Leonard Williams would be a good guy to bring in. Um, we're a little weak. Campbell would also, but he's just old. He's all he's been old forever. Um, honestly, nobody's even offered on Dion Buchanan. I'm like I'm kind of a weirdo. But I kind of like linebackers. I think Hightower and him are both good players. Now, like, someone like Dion Buchanan, he's 89 speed. He is a linebacker, which is a useless position, but he is pick artist. Um, yeah, he's a four-year guy out of Clemson who became a beast. Navarro, Bone, like, there's two middle linebackers. I, I know it's not the flashy play. Vontez, perfect. Um, Sheldon Richardson, 29-year-old X-Factor. Dude, did I just find a freaking... I'm going to let everyone build, bid, and then we'll see. The fact that Sheldon's there is ridiculous. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the bids, a lot of these guys, like I said, there's like 20 bids on some of these top guys. Um, and I just, like I said, we just won the bowl. I I don't want to get into bad cap situation. This is a long-term league for me, and I, I like, I, I know I have a lot of people to pay next year. So, I don't want to go crazy now. Daniil Hunter is a left end. He has one bid. So, someone's interested in him. But I'm quite interested in him. A little bit more than Sheldon just because of how, like, he's an 89 overall 24-year-old. He has a relatively high interest. Now, he wants Casey money, which is a lot of money. But, at the end of the day, I don't have a ton of depth I have Carter who can play there. I have Tuit, but I'd like to put Tuit in the middle. Have Carter. Ugh, it's so difficult. If I, I'm actually having real troubles with this. Do I go after Et phone home? Et would be such. How much he's gonna get? People are gonna offer him a hundred billion dollars. Um, but part of me wants to go after him. Don't, but this seems the best value to me is in this part. Like, nobody cares about these guys. I'm going to go Daniil Hunter. I'm going to give him an offer. I'll offer him a player friendly. I think at three for, I think I can live with that. With I think Daniil Hunter is worth it, to be honest. He's a beast. I'm trying to make this defense crazy, and our defensive front would be wild. I'm going to just, I'll throw him an offer. If he accepts it, he accepts it. I, I don't have a ton of expectation for that. Um, the only other person that I would consider would be 
DB room could use a little bit of a buff. Um, this guy's good. Tremaine Johnson. DJ Hayden was a good player. Jamar Taylor. Um, he's fast. Jason Verrett. Still young. Very good. Oh, dude, I'm struggling with who to put my bids on here. Oh, okay. We're about to find out. I'm hoping, like, either, either one of them, I'd be very happy. Both of them, I would be very, very, very happy. My signings. I got Daniel Hunter. Okay. I think that's a free agency win. I really do. Um, dang, he looks good in these colors. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to the newest one-year freaking mentor, Devin McCourty. I love this signing for us. I think it's a great free agency signing. He's a mentor. He's going to make Kevin Byard better. That's part of the reason I like it so much. He's going to potentially get KB in his mentorship program, um, which is huge. And I also think I, I got Tariq Cohen, which means I got to get rid of some of these other guys. But I get a young Tariq Cohen, a 25-year-old out of Baylor and Tariq Cohen. Um, these running backs got to go, Bobo Scarborough. Um, and... Yeah, Paul be kind of my pass catching back when I feel like Murray's tired. I felt like Derrick Henry doesn't really fit that. Derrick Henry, hey, maybe in this world, his career doesn't really pan out. Maybe I probably am not going to re-sign him. It's a bit of a weird situation. But it's draft time. Um, I'll, yeah, we'll see you as we draft, and I can kind of let you guys know who the people I want the most are. Okay, pick number one. We're going to get to see who this is. Kyler Murray, oh my gosh, no shock there. Kyler Murray is the new quarterback of the Miami Dolphins. Hey, the last one I was a little disappointed in because Lamar ended up going back through it. This one at least is interesting. The Dolphins get their guy. Uh, they currently have Baker Mayfield, who they clearly don't like or are going to trade. Um, they ended up having the worst record in the league with Baker Mayfield, even though he was a hidden superstar. Um, and they go pick up an absolute stud. In Kyler Murray. Pick number two, Daniel Jones. Oh my gosh. Daniel Jones goes pick number two to the football team. That surprises me. Ooh. Rest in peace. Dwayne Haskins goes number three um, to the Chargers. They get themselves a great QB. Okay. Luke. This is Luke. Freaking Luke. And he gets DK Metcalf. No shock there. I can't believe it took that long. I quite literally cannot believe it took that long. Nick Bose is one of the most dominant players in the league, and he just went at freaking pick seven. Mad Max here, here. The defensive linemen are starting to go. Now that the, the top receivers are gone, um, you're starting to get some of these defensive linemen, Max Crosby um, and Nick Bose, as you saw kind of back-to-back -back there. Pick nine will be interesting. This is... This is in our division. Quinn and Williams. That's a stud defensive tackle. Oh my gosh. Quinn is such a beast. AJ. Oh, whoa. I would have loved AJ Brown. They get a stud. Ole Miss, AJ Brown. Okay, Noah Fan. That's no shock whatsoever. Noah Fan. Okay, they're going to. Ooh, they go Josh Allen, the beast from Los Angeles. He's a stud. Terry McLaurin. I said, it's difficult for me to even talk about the receivers I want until we get closer because, bro, I have no sweet clue who's going to be there. Debo goes next. Punch me in the face 14 times. Dang. Jamal Jenkins. Deontay, dude, who's left? Oh, like I said, this is our biggest, like, this is where it's going to be interesting. Come my pick. Don't. I might take Paris. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got two options here. Oh my gosh. I said I'd go receiver here and I think I need to. I, I really, really, really do. Um, but I, I don't know if it's the best. I honestly think the receiver that I want, I can get in the next round. If I'm being honest, the receiver that I want is Nikhil Harry. No one's about to take Nikhil Harry. I just don't think he's going to be that popular. I might be able to get him in round two. I feel like I actually need to look in the mirror and potentially take a different position here. Potentially go DB. I could go Byron Murphy. I could go Josh Jacobs, which I'm not going to because I don't need him. This draft got real, real freaking fast. 
and I don't know who to take. Chase Winovich. Oh, gosh. I was not expecting for Paris Campbell to be gone, and I, I had that kind of in my head. As I had the entire thing in my head. Byron Murphy's a good... Um, he didn't run overly well. Byron Murphy's a good corner, and... He'll probably play the slot with Logan Ryan and Adoree Jackson. I don't think I lose with Byron Murphy. Um, he's the best corner in the draft. I feel like I got to take Byron Murphy. He's a good player IRL. I'm going to go Byron Murphy. Boom, let's go. Hey, I'm happy with that. Byron Murphy, we get out of Washington. Not who I expected to go. Um, I'm just working on this defense. 90 speed, 92 acceleration. Hidden dev guy. I got Cyprian, 91 speed, 91 acceleration, six feet, 29 years old, 90 overall. Would it be straight up or? I, I'd do that straight up if you would. Hmm. Or I could give you my third. And so I could go Cyprian in my third for your second. Um, let me see who's all the players to go. Yeah, there's no one I. Oh, yeah, I'll do the sec or Cyprian and the third for that. Cyprian, third, second. Okay. For my second? Yeah. yeah. Okay, bet. Just sent it. Cyprian's a good player. That's going to be, that's tough to lose. He's a 91 speed, 91 acceleration guy. Um, but I need this pick. And honestly, I don't mind losing a third for that. So I think that's a solid. If Nikhil Harry's there, perfect. If not, oof. Okay, so I'm up. My trade up for this pick. This is exactly what I wanted. Nikhil Harry, the Canadian, born in Toronto. Um, I don't know how amazing he's going to be. He's got a catch in traffic. I traded up for him. I felt like he was our guy, someone to help out the Titans. Boom. Okay. Six foot four, 225 pounds. This is good. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 jumping, jump ball specialist, good size, good speed out of ASU. Oh, I'm, I didn't expect him to be a star dad. I, I knew he was he's going to be a little bit of a project, but he is Canadian, and I do love him. I do lose Cyprian, but we do kind of get our guy, who I consider taking with that first pick in Nikhil Harry. Hey, Toronto-born, bro. Toronto-born. Want to give him a chance. ASU, 6'4", 225. Uh, happy with that pick, and we have another one in the second, but that's pretty much going to be it for our draft. So I'll see you with our next pick. I think I'll go Scotty Miller. Just because of the speed aspect, we're really slow on offense. Just as a weapon to bring in even sometimes. Hey, I'm happy with that. 94 speed, 93 acceleration. Scotty Miller out of Bowling Green. 94 speed, 93. Um, that's our fastest receiver. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, draft recap. Let's freaking see how we did. First pick. Okay. Ooh, that makes me happy. Byron Murphy is a 76 overall, 72 awareness, 90 speed. Uh, oh, we got Gunner, bro. We got Gunner. That's so tough. 66 overall, Gunner. Okay, we got Byron Murphy with our first pick. Um, 76 overall, 90 speed, 92 acceleration. Dude's a good player. Um, he will play immediately in the slot. You guys see he's really good around. Now, this is the, the fun one. Nikhil Harry. Now, 71 overall is not horrible. Um, out of ASU, kind of a beast. Good jumping. Good catch in traffic. Um, this is a rookie receiver that we can make great. We can make him the best receiver in the league. It's just a matter of time. Now, Scotty Miller is a 68 overall. Not necessarily the biggest hit ever, uh, but he's 94 speed, 93 acceleration. He becomes like the fastest guy on our team as he walks in the building. Now, we also got Gunner. Um, if you guys know Gunner, 88 speed, 90 acceleration Gunner. He's not overly good, but he is going to be on our squad. We get a right guard out of Wake Forest, um, Troy Leonard. And Marcus. So Byron Murphy definitely, um, no doubt about it, is our best player that we got in this. 90 speed. He starts right away. Great young DB in a secondary that does need to get a little bit younger. Um, and I felt like he was the best available pick. I would have loved to get Paris Campbell. It's just not the way the cookie crumbles. Our receiving room gets a lot more interesting. Nikhil Harry's going to play a lot. Um, I've already kind of decided. Nikhil Harry's going to be on the field a lot. So, good draft. Let's go see if we get any mentorship. Yo, wide receiver mentorship. This is good. This is good. Okay, I've been impressed with Taiwan Taylor. Mm -mm. Not necessarily the guy that I was hoping you would be been impressed with, but hey, it's neither here nor there. Maybe Taylor's going to get an upgrade. 
I think next week's the one where he, he gets like a rower. It's nothing crazy. I was kind of hoping it would be a different upgrade. Um, we have three new receivers. We're going to have to cut some. But we needed new receivers. We had a bad passing stat year last year. It was horrible. So we got some new receivers. We can go up and get it, which is what I'm most excited for. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week one. Guess who we're playing? The freaking Giants. The guy who we played week one two seasons ago. Okay, season goal. Um, this this one's obvious. We're going to win the Super Bowl again. We, we won the Super Bowl last year. We played great football last year. We played simple football last year. I didn't make Mariota do anything too crazy. I would love is just like a... Self goal, I'd love to get Mariota to an X Factor. I think that would be really cool in the season. Um, if we can have some relatively good stat games, I think that's all attainable. I think it's all possible. And I know we can make it happen. Now, as far as upgrades, we have a lot of them. Marcus Mariota is going to get another one um, through winning, potential being second for MVP. Uh, and just overall, he's upgraded a ton, plus one throw power, which is awesome. He's down 93 throw power, 93 speed, 93. So we've gotten three speed upgrades with him. Daniil Hunter already gets his first upgrade. This is the free agent that I'm most excited about. I think Daniil Hunter coming here, even though I had to pay him some money, if he gets superstar, bro, like if I can find some way to make him go crazy, that could be the best signing. He will immediately get the best abilities and like it will be noticeable. I was surprised he did not have a huge market. John who gets another upgrade. He... Delaney is getting up there in age. Um, I think he's almost, Delaney's like 35. I keep using Fountain of Youth just to keep him around for another season. Um, but Delaney's not getting any younger, which is definitely a reason to be a little bit concerned. Um, to it, I can go, I'm still a ways away from any ability that I think. Oh, I can get inside stuff, which is awesome. I'm gonna go inside stuff and oh go and then because he, this year, is going to play more of a true defensive tackle. Kevin Byard got abilities in the offseason. Freaking shout-out KB, bro. Shout-out KB. Goes up to an 84 overall. Uh, I, don't, I want to know why he got it. Can we see? Defensive player of the week plus plus superstar dev plus 650 plus 25. That was it. It was the, it was the defensive player of the week. It must have been that got him that. He got a superstar dev from getting defensive player of the week. That's just lucky. And... With Kevin Byer, like I said, I can get short route KO. I'm soon um, close to being able to get some other abilities. Uh, I might go no outsiders and play him at... No, that's a tough one. Because I, I like my defense the way it is. Now, we got Darius Leonard, who had an amazing year last year. Our first round pick last year, who was a superstar. He was a, he was a beast. I took him. I knew he was going to be good. He was. Olukan, who we made a superstar. Lorenzo's going to get a lot of playing time. Um, our defense, we've made into a beast. Uh... We have not taken a step back. We have taken a lot of steps forward. And my user, uh, Trawick, actually pretty much single-handedly got us to the Super Bowl game against those Jets who are super tough. Okay, let's do our official depth chart. So, Nikhil Harry, this is where it's tough. I love Edelman. Uh, I do. I'm potentially going to be looking to move him. His contract isn't horrible with us. Um, I saved 16. He's 29. I need to get faster. Now, Corey Davis... <sighs> I think I need Nikhil Harry to play. Um, that's about as simple as I can put it. Nikhil Harry's got to be on the field. I can't say anything else. He does. I got to find a way to make him the GOAT. I think at least at the beginning of the year, I want to see what I have with Nikhil Harry. I want to see if he can moss people. I want to see how he moves down. If it does not work out, it is what it is. But I think as far as right now, my brain's telling me something like this, Julian in the slot is my best bet. Delaney Walker is regressing a little bit overall-wise. Still a beast. Johnu, you guys already know. Left tackle, we got Taylor Lewan. Right tackle, we re-signed Jack Conklin. Was not going to let him leave. Left, left end, we have Daniel Hunter. Calais Campbell, that must have been a CPU signing. I don't. I think I'm going to drop him and save the $10 million. He probably got signed to like a stupid deal by the CPU, and I, I don't want that because I want Lorenzo playing right end. Um, I have an idea for what this is going to look like, and him being in there, is, he's not. He wouldn't play, so I might as well save the $10 million. But I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out after. Lorenzo Carter. I have Daniil Hunter there. Lorenzo. And then here, just to it, right in the middle. Left outside linebacker, Darius Leonard. Right outside linebacker, um, Olukan. Because Olukan is just, he was so good last year. And he gets, the thing that you guys don't know, um, or you may know, is that linebackers get under pressure super fast. So Olukan already has under pressure. So... I'm going to blitz him as much as possible. Now, here's the interesting one. We have a guy by the name of Byron Murphy. Where does he sit? Where do I put him? To me, this is where I'm, this is how I'm 
processing this defense right now. Kind of him up there. Honestly, Dejon Smith kind of up there. Oh, this is so tough. Devin McCourty, I want a tr as true, a true strong safety. This Tyvis Powell, I kind of want him back there. Now, where this gets interesting is my slot corner. I think I'm going to start the rookie and have Logan Ryan play the other slot in dollar set. I, I want to see what he's got. I Logan Ryan's bronze dev, it's just not, I don't think it's a long-term plan. I think it's more of a short-term type thing. So that's why I'm going to go with that. Guys, this defense looks amazing. This offense looks amazing. Game one, going up against the Giants, who I do not want to play, but let's go. Oh, he lost. He's lost Manning since I played him last, which is good. Manning must have retired. That's a positive. Get back there. Oh. Okay, we got torched a little bit. Got him. Adore Jackson. Well done. Okay. Offense. Let's get back. Let's get back out there. That's a horrible start. I didn't give the ball to DeMarco. Tried passing. Tried to get the ball to Nikhil Harry. Just horrible decisions. Um, yield horrible results. And you saw the exact result of that. But here we got to sharpen things up. Make better decisions. Go. Go DeMarco. Go DeMarco. There we go. That's why I paid him. That, my friends, is why I paid him. When things are looking bleak, in the passing game, we got our guy, DeMarco Murray. Man, he had a good year last year. Look at him. Look at him. I'm, hey, don't ask me where Henry is. Don't. Go watch real football if you want to see Derrick Henry. Come on, Nikhil Harry. Welcome to Cashville, Harry Nikhil. Harry getting his second chance as a Titan. Not good tackling. Very bad tackling. Throwing now is Bortles. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. Bortles gonna go on fourth down. Come here. Good job, Dory. Good job, Dory. Good adjustment. Okay. Nikhil Harry, bro. Nikhil Harry has made one very good play so far. Very good. So. I intend on if 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 the opportunity is there, giving him the ball right back. Like right here, he's one on one. I, I feel like I'm crazy to not give him the ball. Nikhil Harry, go up. Okay. We get ball at half. We got a chance to go plus eight with a good drive. Let's do it. Chance to go plus eight. Don't don't freaking mess it up, Brett. Oh wow, he dropped it. Oh, that's it. I man that up. Yep, good job, Darius. Every other time I put that guy in a vertical, like that time I man it up. He's taking three. Okay, offense, we've been so hit and miss. So incredibly hit and miss. If I can get another seven, I think we can win this. Go, Marcus. DeMarco Murray, my gosh. They're indeed going. It's Mariota. Yep, Nikhil Harry. First down. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Now a third down throw will be above 60% just to be in the average range. He can 100% take clock for the game, honestly. It's tough, tough start. Tough start, tough start. At the 40. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. That's a room to run now. Better off letting him score to be honest. Okay, seven wins it. Plenty of time on the clock. 
Come here, Cole. Come here, Cole. No. Gone. Oh, okay. Yep, good play. They'll go for it. It's Bortles. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. Good job, Dory. Good job, Dory. Mariota. Nikhil, Harry, good catch, Nikhil. Okay, going conservative here and just taking these and then take, take three. Guys, I think we're going to be 1-0. I think we might just be 1-0. He can't really, um, at this point, stop the clock. He can't ice me unless I miss, quite honestly, the easiest kick of all time. We're going to leave here with a 1-0 record in a fighting game where Nikhil Harry, the rookie, is the hero. Wow. He got open a ton. He was mossing people. That was amazing. Three seconds guys. Okay. One and hey, that's fight. That that's what a Super Bowl team does in week one against their rival on Thursday night. Mariota has 167 almost all of those. Buck 49 to Nikhil Terry. Good freaking win. Marquis good win. The rest of this league is gonna be played tomorrow or something so this is the last game i'm actually i'm only playing one game today but you guys are going to see me in two seconds but let's just let's just celebrate that let's just celebrate that real quick ladies and it's a new dawn wow that was a brutal voice crack that's a voice crack to the level of which i honestly probably should edit that out but it was i just i need to redo that i don't want to i should um slightly more than slightly embarrassed guys i realized one thing I had 371 points, and this is why posting these in post isn't always the best because I don't get those like comments from you guys being like, hey, good morning, genius. Get your three extra focus players. You have 400 staff points. You won the Super Bowl. Turn your brain on, genius. And that's why I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm turning my brain on. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm investing in player growth. This one is uh, difficult, slow ratings regression. I wanna use that again. On Delaney, do I have unlimited uses of that with Delaney Walker? Like, can I make Delaney Walker play for 14 years if I need? That's what I'm wondering because he already is 35. I used it on him last year. Tell me why I wouldn't be able to do that. Boost catching. Yo, Nikhil Harry had such a good first game. That was amazing to see. Um... Nikhil Harry is like looking like he could be the guy that we need, like the transformational talent on this team. If I keep having good games with him, which I plan on doing, um, I plan on just throwing him the ball at time. Sorry, I'm just making sure I'm recording. Uh, I think we could do some crazy things. We beat our nemesis. Now we got the Dolphins, bro. Fins up. Fins up. You guys already know. Um, the Fins just drafted Kyler Murray. So this is actually a cool thing because we get to play rookie debut Kyler Murray. Murray, um, which is super fun. I'm pumped about that just because of the fact that Devin McCourty gets an upgrade, which is awesome. Um, I'm pumped about that because, like I said, the, it didn't work out. Like I said, the Ravens, the number one pick, the Ravens getting Lamar was like the worst thing in this series because that was just so stupid <clears throat> because the Ravens had the worst season that year. So then they get Lamar and it's like, oh, sweet. I'm dying to know what Lamar looks like on the Ravens. But this way, at least, we get to see Olakon gets 80 overall, which gives him now. He still is just under pressure ability, but that's a really good ability. Now, Nikhil Harry gets an upgrade. I am going to go slot ability with him. Cross my fingers for some speed upgrades. I don't know what we're going to get. Awareness, plus one catching, plus one short. I don't know what the best thing is for these receivers. Um, it's still, like, something that I'm trying to figure out. But let's go have a quick look at the Dolphins and just kind of see what exactly we are going up against. As you can see, a young rookie, Kyler Murray. Scrambling archetype. Um, 92 throw power. Halfback, Tevin Coleman. Jordan Matthews, Devontae Parker. Yeah, this team isn't great, but they got a good rookie QB. Let's go. Shout out to him. That running back's going there. There's a post. Oh, my gosh. Brandon Trowick. Bro, he might be my favorite user I've ever had. No freaking cap. Yep, DeMarco Murray. And a good first down, Mariota. 
Out of bounds. Don't be stupid. And I chose the road less traveled. Go, DeMarco. Good run. As a middle linebacker, I've used him as like a pass rusher, and he has been nothing short of really. Look at him. Is that Lorenzo? Lorenzo Carter got to him. Well done, Lorenzo. Good defense. Yep. There's one. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, Nikhil. It's caught inside the 25. Dude, is this kid just different? Mariota. Oh my gosh, Mariota. And now look at him go. He's at the 50. 30. That's just a miss throw. Oh, does not get more open and shot miss throw than that. That's brutal. We'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Nikhil, up top. I'm actually like I'm not just throwing to him. He's getting open. On play action, Mariota. Nikhil Harry. Yeah. Thank God. Delaney, Jeff Delaney. Okay. Hoo-ah, everybody freaking breathe. And then make that walk back to locker room just a little more animated. They'll get this to Coleman. On the move past the 40. Save the day, Murphy. Nice tackle. Second and three. McCourty. Welcome to the team, bro. Welcome to the freaking team, McCordy. Good job, Nikhil. Yo, get up. I had no timeouts. Oh, gosh. I feel like he's leaving Corey Davis open, though. Look. Not that a, like, what kind of defense, Mike? What in the defense? Why? Like, some people I just want to talk to and be like, bro, why are you in cover zero here? Off the play fake, Mariota. Come on, Nikhil, go up. We got it. He's leaving that. Oh, dude, like I said, he's a big target. Situations like this, I know that you're a man. I might just put two streaks on the field. Oh, no. You got to throw a little bit back shoulder. Corey Davis up top. These first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. There we go, Nikhil. The top. Exactly right about that partner, and I know that right now the easy. Oh my gosh, Trawick. Got him again. Got him, Demarco. Digis, bro. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look at the league leaders. Nikhil Harry uh, is currently. As funny as that is, uh, the number one receiver in the entire league. Just process that a little bit. I told you guys, I'm like, I'm making this guy the GOAT. Mariota has a crazy game. Harry has 200 yards, 146. Um, rushing wise, Mario has three total touchdowns. He had two passing touchdowns. That's just a dominating win. That those are the wins that you need. Just confidence, swagger, everything wise. Um, we got the Texans next week. Um, I don't know if this dude got really upset when Deshaun Watson lost his ability. Um, so I don't even know if he's playing, but he should be, but, um, either way, we'll see you guys in week three. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a weekly award, which is probably going to be, um, oh wow. Trial, we literally sweep the awards this week. Now we have a tandem breakout. Please tell me this is, is this Corey inspiring Nikhil? Yo, that's tough. Corey Davis is looking up to him. And he gets, wow. Okay, so he gets 2,500 XP. Corey Davis, if, assuming my opponent's playing, like this is the next evolution of this franchise, is getting some receivers. Um, Edelman's on the trade block still. He just, I'm worried about his age. Um, there's a few things I'm worried about. He does not get open, if I'm just being honest. This game just isn't built for 87 speed people. Um, it's sad, it's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. Byron Murphy gets an upgrade. He's been really good for us. I'm a, I'm a fan of this guy. I'm a fan of this pickup. Um, he gets plus four man coverage. My gosh, 90 speed. Um, he's been a big part of our absolutely dominating defense. Finding Dory is going up to a 90 overall. Been productive. Had a horrible first year for us, but he found his form last year. 
was not getting torched nearly as much last year as he was in year one. Not a crazy pick guy, just a cover guy. Derrick Henry, still a bench dude. Um, one of the most difficult situations on the team. He really is. He's not actually eight years and he's only 26 years old, but just never really getting a chance because of the fact that DeMarco Murray is one of the best, if not the best, what was the best running back in the entire league last year, um, which was huge. Guys, week three against the Texans. I hope this guy can play. Um, let's go. No, sir. When you take it away four times during receptions, what do you do? And off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Houston. Oh, not good. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Come on, Johnu, stay in. Yes, that's my favorite Johnu animation by far. Easily my favorite. When he kind of goes to the sideline like that, that's, that's when he's at his best. First down. Oh, that's such a beam. Davis, 150 with Davis. So a lot of you guys have told me, once you get those tandem breakouts, keep getting them. That's a dot in between the cover three. The other, um, the outside third got taken by the wheel. Inside third got taken by the streak on the other side, leaving a wide open. Got to be going to. Uh, you know, ooh, good job, Mo. Leader of the group right now. Leader of the group, Morris Playboy. Yo, that's such a beam. That's just, that's just such a beam. Cannot throw a more perfect ball than that, Marcus Mariota. Oh, that is an absolute box. Come on, Byron. Byron Murphy, tough freaking matchup for him, and he does great. Okay. John U. Good job. What in the world? Okay, well, I was up 21. I was getting ball at half. That sucks breakout wise and everything. Oh, dang. Okay. You guys saw, we literally just got booted from the game. Okay, so I have no idea what that was. Obviously, we end up getting the win here. Uh, but we're not going to get our tandem breakout. We don't get anything. And we actually have a bad game for Mario. That's super disappointing. Um, DeMarco plays good. Nikhil gets another touchdown. But that's just unfortunate. Um, that game would have been really good for us. We have a difficult, like a lot of difficult games coming up. So for that one to go south like it did, definitely, definitely, definitely really, really, really sucks. But... Is what it is. The show must go on. We got to win games. The Vikings are a tough out. I already know the Vikings are tough. And we also have to talk about a lot of things right now. Um, Mariota wants an absolute bag of money at his doorstep. And he deserves it. But it's going to make our cap situation very interesting. Luckily, we have a lot of money. Okay? We've saved a lot of money by having a quarterback on a rookie deal. Now, players that need to be brought back are Delaney Walker... Kevin Byard, Morris Claiborne, both of these guys are super cheap. Mo, especially because he's he's old. But the Mariota deal is a bananas. He's asking for seven years, and he wants a total of forty eight million on average a season. Forty eight million a year um, to be our franchise QB, signing him long term. I, I see no other option. I at least have to. I'm going to start with the neutral offer and see what he says. We just got a whole lot more broke. Oh, my gosh. Mark, look at our cap room now. $65 million. That's the thing. You got to win when you have a cheap. That's why I was playing pretty aggressive. Now, Delaney Walker, I'm also down to bring him back. If he wants to keep doing these one-year deals, I will bring him back for one by ten. Okay, no, he, he doesn't seem to have much interest. Kevin Byard, we can negotiate later. But, guys, Mariota is officially coming back to the Titans. Dude gets paid. Let's just call a spade a spade. Dude just got absolutely paid. Uh, $194 million would be our... That's one of the biggest contracts I've actually ever seen in this game. Um, he gets 10.7 this year from his other contract. And then 52 in 2025, 54 in 2026... 
56 in 2027, 58, $61.8 million cap hit in 2029. Arguably the biggest, if not like the biggest deal I've ever seen. But he's a Super Bowl winner. He's done, he's, he's brought a lot of amazing things to this team. You can't deny that. That's, that's just a fact. And uh, he gets paid to, um, that kind of shows that. Now, guys, we're 3-0. Should have a lot better stats than we do. Nikhil Harry, we got robbed of just in a freaking, and it was my, it obviously was something on my side because it was weird, but like just a really, really unfortunate event. Darius Leonard gets an upgrade. He's going to go up to an 84. Dude's been a beast since we got him. You guys already know. Nikhil Harry gets another upgrade. I'm going to go slot again because slot is the most important and he does, he is going to get an overall upgrade from that catching traffic plus one short route. He's just been amazing. He's like, Made every catch. Like I really have zero complaints. The Vikings are a tough out. Um, who's who's running the Vikings? They got Tavon Austin, who has become a beast, by the way. Tavon. They got Gino. They're a little weak at QB. We're gonna, we're just gonna scream at them. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna scream at them. Marcus Mariota just signed the biggest con. Let's see if he still plays as good. Maybe maybe he's gonna be one of those guys who gets his big contract and doesn't care. I don't think that's Marcus though. That's not Marcus. And the nice thing about him is he doesn't need to be that elite on this team. Like, we have so many things that we do so well. Oh my gosh, that's such a beam. Yeah, no, he's still going to play. I saw his Harrison Smith. I was throwing it immediately. Yep, got him. That, that's... We got some. Oh my, DeMarco. Good try. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Okay. 7-0. Yep, got him. Here's Kelly to throw. Oh, good throw. On second and seven, Kelly. Fire it. Oh, Murphy, we almost got to him. On second down, it's Austin. And now Kelly. Come here. And he'll be hit in this game. And now it brings up fourth down. Second quarter and knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that crowd. Come here, Murphy! Well done, Murphy. Welcome to Nash. Is that his first? I think that's his second pick, actually. That's why he's playing the slot, man. The awareness is there. Could not have been happier with him at pick 32. I think that was a bit of a steal at pick 32, considering how good he, he was in that draft and how good it's just his speed why nobody really gave him a chance. Nikhil Harry, just a laser. I, I love having these big receivers, bro. He is different, man. Here's Kelly. Come on. Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. Two. Two playing that middle zone. Good job, Murphy. Nice catch. Corey Davis up top. Hey, this is the most, like last year, we did not have much of a passing game, which honestly, this year, I know Edelman, like I said, he's still on the trade block. I'm gonna try and see if I can get a draft pick for him. It's kind of one, maybe a second round pick, but I, I might just keep him on there. But we play a two tight end, two receiver set. There's no reason for me to get Nikhil Harry out of here. There's no reason. Dude has been the best receiver in the league through three weeks. Connections lost. I lose my two. I lose my two interceptions. I lose everything. Bro, I'm not doing this. This is ridiculous. That's back-to-back -back games. That one was no, in no way my connection. I tried to get him to concede and he didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, we back, fellas. Ugh, okay, I was not about to. I, I didn't get the QB1 checking, but we actually replayed that game. Just not replayed it, but like got our stats back to where they was because I was so annoyed about that. Um, so I got Nikhil and Corey, their stats back, and I made sure to get... Because I was like, I'm, there's no way I'm losing two picks with my rookie Byron Murphy. So we got our stats back. 
Don't know why we lagged out there, um, but either way, a win's a win. We got the Colts next week, who are also two and one. Always, a, always, a, always a tough out. Unless he's in a meeting. Sometimes Ernest is in a meeting, so hopefully he can play. I'm crossing my fingers. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the show will go on. Mar Marcus Mariota gets plus five deep throw accuracy. Ladies and gentlemen, week seven, week five. Okay, so we do get a weekly. Is that going to be Byron Murphy? It is, and he deserves it, bro. Like I said, he got two picks in that game for us. Um, Colts week's a tough one. Really, really, really tough. And like I said, the only thing is this guy, I don't know. I don't know if Ernest is playing currently because he does work a corporate job and sometimes he'll have like meetings. Um, I really hope he is because I enjoy beating the Colts. We always have really good games. Holy upgrade city, Nashville. Um, we're gonna go scrambler. Let's see where that gets us to 97, plus one agility, plus one throw on the run. Um, DeMarco Murray gets an upgrade, which is huge. He's big just because he does regress every single year. That's the only thing about that three-year deal. But, like, even where he is right now, he's still just such a monster. Um, and Byron Murphy from his two interception and player of the week game gets an upgrade. Shout out Byron Murphy up to a 78 overall. If we can keep up that production, you never know. The sky is the freaking limit. Um, Scotty Miller, who's not playing a lot, um, he's going to go up one to a 69 overall, I believe. Um, yes. And uh, yeah, okay, Colts week. I'm gonna double check that Ern's here. I really hope he is, and then we'll see you guys. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Ern was in fact in a meeting, unfortunately, but he better be back for week eight. I'm making sure dude is back for week eight. Uh, we did get a force win, and in the force win, just like it's happening on the field, bro, Mariota's going crazy, DeMarco's going crazy, and Nikhil Harry, six t catches for 124. As promised, I told you I was gonna make this Canadian the best receiver in the league. I told you going into it, I was like, I will do anything. All I care about is Nikhil Harry. The other crazy thing in this league, my two picks, I really, if you take away the game that I lost and where I got the two picks, I'm having a really good season with Marcus. Nikhil's having a crazy season. Uh, the only person having a bit of an off year is Jay Smith. Um, I got I to gotta get him the ball. I've been super worried about my receivers, but I definitely got to make it a priority to get him the ball. Now, Going up against the Jets, this is who we play. This is our. This is the biggest game. You're going against Christian Hackenberg. This is a tough out um, in every sense. There, there's nothing easy about this game. This guy's always going to give me good games. Um, he's probably my best competition in the AFC. He's been in the championship two years in a row. Um, dude's no joke. Lorenzo gets an upgrade. But we got a new strategy. He likes to blitz. He likes to leave one-on-ones. And now I have a guy who can just go up and get it. We're a different team than we used to be. Um, Nikhil Harry gets a slot upgrade. He's still a bronze, plus one cat, it's in traffic, plus one short, but he is upgrading ridiculously fast for a bronze, which you always love to see. Guys, week number six, put up or shut up, be smart, let's go. Yep, the get there, oh. What's going on? Whoa, what here. is that? Oh, Trawick with a second weight on that. Bag, fellas. Sit down. Good defense, KB. Okay, let's go get seven, fellas. Let's go get seven. Play action now, Mariota. Beam. Good bro, Johnny. Nope. Oh, I thought maybe we would get a flag there. Shoot. Jason Myers, that should be good. Okay. We get ball to have defense. We need another stop. Mm, as simple as that, we just need another stop. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break. Only no way. Dang. Even under the pressure, he, he got that throw off. They'll look to throw here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Ah, good play. Come on, John U. Good laser. What did I tell you guys? John U was about to have a big game, and I, I need him to have a big game. Julian Edelman. Limited role. Limited role, but that does not mean that he's not important. 
There we go. Thank you. Did what we had to do in that drive. That was a crucial one. Did exactly what we had to do. They go play action here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. He's got a man complete. Strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. Dang, that happened fast. Paris Campbell, the guy I wanted to draft, goes to the Jets. Oh. She's the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter. Nikhil. Up top, don't press him, please. Just don't press him, please. On third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Look at this. Middle of the field. Breakaway. Big loss. The game came down to one mistake. That I can show you what that mistake was. It was this interception. It was it, that interception where I tried to throw Demarco Murray was was the game. That was huge mistake. Nikhil Harry though, like I just want to key in on this, but look at you try and press Nikhil Harry on the left side. Like as much as we've had some negatives here, and this game was a negative, our biggest positive and our biggest takeaway of this team right now needs to be that we got we got some players. We got John who has a good game. Nikhil has a good game for us. We got some studs on this team and. Uh, I like this new kind of wave of run, run, run. Throw it at him. You know, Julian Edelman, I wasn't going and just chucking, like, fades to Julian Edelman. No, that, that, that wasn't the game plan. But um, but still, Nikhil Harry, leading receiver in the NFL. Dude's been super good. He's got eight touchdowns as a rookie. Um, I want to continue that. I want to continue that dominance. Averaging a buck 27 a game, he's unbelievable. Um it's like his jumping, his spec catch, his catch in traffic, everything about him, just he can become a beast. And I, he's already becoming a beast. Loss hurts. Uh, that gives me and this dude the same record. So it's just a matter of who's going to win more games and who's going to lose more games down the stretch. Dang. Mm, that's a bad one. Ladies and gentlemen, bro, this AFC is not getting any easier. My goodness. Week seven, we're going up against the five and one Bills. I'm gonna give you guys an update on stats for the entire league here. I like to do that kind of mid-season every like four to five weeks so you guys know who's dominating, who the best players in this league are, um, how the NFL has changed, obviously. Which, like I said, if you've watched, what is Zeta? Oh, Luke Khan. What should I do? Do I go keep going past coverage? Or just how far is he from these other ones? Field general? I feel like pass coverage is probably my best. I do play him in coverage, though. But field general is not a bad one. I think it will probably raise pass coverage, too, and I think it did. Plus one speed. Beautiful. So glad I did that. That gets him to a 91 speed. Um, he is so, so, so good. Guys, our schedule and our games don't get any easier. The Bills, 5-1. and one. This is a super tough out team. This, is, uh, this team is absolutely no joke. Nikhil Harry is now second. Only behind... Jamal Jenkins. I'm going to show you guys what's going on here um, in the league. Marcus Mariota, obviously. He's just consistent, bro. He's our, he's our fearless leader. Baker Mayfield on the bill. So as I expected, Baker Mayfield got moved um, when they drafted. The, the Dolphins user didn't like him. So they traded Baker Mayfield over to the Bills. And he is absolutely on fire right now. Jameis Winston still killing it. Like I said, in this alternate universe, Jameis is also going to become a stud. Look at Jameis. Only look at these stats because these are his since the like all these. It's impossible to make it if you want to keep the likeness. But look from twenty twenty two on, he is having a crazy career. Last year was a bit of an off year for him, but this year he's back, um, and he's on fire. Jared Goff is really good. Matthew Stafford, Cam Newton, you already know. Dwayne Haskins, ten touchdowns, five interceptions for the Chargers. Hackenberg, twenty one and four. Um, Rushing the ball, you got Zeke, Le'Veon Bell, Lamar Miller, Chubb, David Montgomery, DeMarco Murray. I'm having a bit of a slow season. And then this guy, dude, Jamal Jenkins. I don't even know if this is a real human out of Indiana. This guy's insane. 98 speed, 98 acceleration at 6'3". What? Heck, did that dude find him? Um, rookie. And then Nikhil Harry, second best receiver in the league. You already know, bro. We're mossing everybody. Defensively, um, statistics, set Miles Garrett, um, Brandon Graham, Vaughn Miller, Solomon Thomas. Interception-wise, four. Jonathan Cyprian is actually killing it on his new team. No shock there. Guys, big game against Baker Mayfield's Bills. Let's go. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Yep, got him up. That's a beam, dude. That's a freaking TikTok. TikTok that. 
Yep, Delaney Walker's still here, just so you know. Gotta get him involved, man. Just bump and run. It does give our receivers a lot of issues. Nikhil Harry, though, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Laser, best receiver in the league. Okay, Baker Mayfield, get on the field. Now a play fake here on first down. Can't make mistakes like that. They're gonna look to throw. Buying time to his left. Gonna throw right side here, complete. Mariota on first down. He'll air this. Corey, you got him, don't you, Corey? Yep. This is caught inside the fifth. Right is Smith. Take a guaranteed throw. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Still got it. 35 years old. Still got it. Delaney Walker. Motion right is Watkins. Forced out to his left. Now he'll throw deep. Yep. Maybe seven seconds. Four. Sit down. Three points. Good job. KB is having a year, bro. You got to throw it to him right there. Look at John. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I love Johnny so much. Okay, good. I couldn't... When he was having a bad year, I was getting a little worried. Nikhil. Okay, this should be GG's. Hey, bounce back wing. No, bounce back wins. Huge, huge, huge. And a great defensive game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's a big win. Uh... Colts is back. He missed a couple weeks. Um, but we got a chance to really make this really tough on the Colts. They're the, the best team we play. He's got suit, X Factor, um, Le'Veon. That game, how did we do with Nikhil Harry? I got to see. I think that was a pretty solid performance. Defensively, we're starting to have some big games with some of these young guys that I know. Look at Nikhil Harry, another 100 yard game for him. Um, those are just becoming, he's actually just really good. Sometimes, sometimes you just have a player, man. He's not he's statistically, man. But I was like, dude, size and everything. That's someone I wanted on my team, and he's doing great. KB's got three picks, um, two picks for Byron Murphy. Brandon Trowick has two picks as well. Sack numbers: Darius for. Look, everybody. This is just a D line that cares. Olukan. Everyone's playing ball. No one person is like completely dominating out there, but everyone's playing it. I'd say Darius has been the best. This season, which is as to be expected. He had a really good year last year as well. But, guys, the show must go on. We got week nine against the Colts. Let's try and go into the bye week. It's a big positive. Let's go get the dub. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the three and four Colts. Like I said, he missed a couple weeks. Um, Just to, whoa, 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 whoa. I got this all messed up. I got this all messed up. This is not who I want here. Um... Thank goodness I noticed this. I want this to be Darius Leonard, and I want this to be Olukan. Foyasade, yeah, Byron, I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, no point in Mo. Actually, Mo Morris may by the end of the season get a second ability, but he's he's probably a one ability guy. That was just, he had a crazy season last year. Um, he's 30 years old. I would be shocked if he doesn't regress a little bit, but I've been shocked before. Let's just keep doing our thing. Uh, this is going to be a tough out. There's no denying it. Earn is really good against me. Um, I've struggled against him lots in the past. Now, as far as signings, um, I'm going to cut... Logan Ryan, like I said, part of the reason that I got Byron Murphy is because I knew this. I knew Logan Ryan was going to want to bank. Logan Ryan was in the last year of his deal. He's out. I, I'm willing to trade him for like a third-round pick. I'm, I love Logan Ryan. He's a good player, but... Byron Murphy was drafted to be his replacement, a much cheaper replacement. Now, Delaney Walker, we want him to come back. Now, our last offer was not good enough. I am willing to give him about $12 million a season. And just to keep going one by one. Because if I sign him to a two-year deal and he gets really bad, that's the worry. Now, Kevin Byard also needs an offer. Let's start off with this. Boom. Kevin Byard is coming back much cheaper than he got in real life. Dude got about a billion dollars. Oh, this is going to be the toughest one, bro. I might, I kind of want to see Der Derrick Henry be great. But I also want him to be great for me. If I keep him around, potentially when DeMarco's done, we will be good. I'm going to go three-year. Yep, three-year with Morris Claiborne, 100%. Signed. We're not going to have much money in free agency. But like I said, that big deal that we got when we went and we freaking re-signed Mariota to the 
biggest contract I've ever seen in my life. Um, that changed things. We're going up against a 30-year-old Andrew Luck. Le'Veon, T.Y., his receivers aren't very, well, they're fast, but they're not great. We, we can beat this team. Let's go. From the 30 on second down, Luck in a heavy Dude, ball hawk. K freaking B ball hawk. Good job. The Titans at six and one now through seven weeks of the season. And they come in riding high. Just one loss in the last First. seven games. Penalties at a minimum because they've been very disciplined, very focused in their business. Oh, Mariota, that's... That's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. That's such a beam, Marcus. Here's Locke. Yup, the rookie. Three picks on the season. Team lead. Team or second on the team, but close to Bayard now. Actually, Bayard's got five. I completely lied about that entire thing. But hey, well done, Byron Murphy. Mario to throw for it on four. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We had the dot to play before. Off of play action. Luck. That's complete. It's Cornell Powell. And he is finally. Now a play fake, and it's Luck. Throwing left side, it's complete. They'll fake it. Now Lock. He's got his target. It's caught. Beat up and say a job well done at this point. And not have to worry about ball at all. Good job, Nikhil. Harry, good catch up top. Now Mariota. Slide. Well done. Plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one. Open. <laughs> Davis. What was he? What was he running? Or what was that? On second and fifteen now. Luck. Got him. And for the third time here, this half it's intercepted. Okay. Be smart here, guys. Be smart. Second and fifteen. Another try after the first down sack. Mario. Such a beam. John. Boo Smith. First down throw for Mariota. Oh, good catch, Nikhil. That's a dot. Here's Mariota. Go, Nikhil Harry. Good catch. Play fake, Mariota. Johnny Smith. From the 17, Mariota. GG, okay. Take time divisional wins, fellas. Our division is down bad. Our, I'm not gonna lie. My division was one of the better ones in the first. These dudes are doing horribly, 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 horribly. Um, Nikhil Harry gets another upgrade. Do I go? I'm gonna keep going slot ability. I feel like it's helped him. That one, it doesn't increase anything else. Slot upgrade plus one acceleration plus two short route. I think he's due potentially for a breakout after. The thing is, I have a bye week and then I have a force win. So I have a couple games in a row where it's not going to be a whole lot going on. John Newt gets a vertical threat. Once he gets to 90 overall vertical threat, I believe we can get... Um... No, that's possession. Oof. We're not super far from that. But guys, as far as the first half of the season, this really couldn't have gone much better. I think we're playing really good football. Uh, Mariota's got 21 and 8. Rushing, we got 444. Nikhil Harry, who I drafted to kind of be the guy, is being the guy. He is the current best receiver in the entire league. I told you I was going to make him a beast. Born in Canada. Got to love him. Um, and yeah, everything's looking really good right now. I think he's the number one receiver in the league. There might actually be one. Now, yeah, see, look. Boom. Jamal Jenkins, who's six foot three. Problem is, we're going to compete over Rookie of the Year and everything. This is the negative. This dude and me are going to compete because he's also a rookie. So it's like we are going to be competing neck and neck for Rookie of the Year. <sighs> Hopefully, I can continue to just get him the ball. He's just 6'4", 225. He can jump out the gym. He's amazing. Um, and DeMarco starting to like look at DeMarco. He's finding his form. 444. Hey, guys, the show will go on. Oh, we got a force win the week after. I think we actually have two force wins in a row. So I'll probably see you guys in week 12. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The moment we've waited for. Okay, so we had two force wins um, in a row. As you saw, QB breakout. This is everything. Um, this is why I started this. 
to make Mariota the GOAT, and I have a chance here against the Jaguars to do it. Um, now, essentially, what it, what it takes to get him to an X-Factor, 400 scrimmage yards or four total touchdowns to make this happen. I got to be locked in. This is easily the biggest game of the entire franchise. It's week 13. It's also a big game for the division. It's a big game for everything. The opponent's waiting for me. Breakout, let's go. Play action now. extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Come on, Mo. On the left side, this is, is that Kenny, oh, that's Kenny Stills? First down as the Why is he at the Oh, man, I hate this guy's jersey numbers. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Got his man, it's caught. Play fake, Mariota. Julian Edelman, yes sir, limited roll. He's pressed. I feel like he's a chance first down to go throw for Mariota. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. Got him. This is caught. And it's a Titans touchdown. They're gonna try and throw. Going deep for Benjamin. They've got his man complete. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. They'll let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown. See, this is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough. Nikhil Harry up top. Now Mariota on fourth down. Nikhil, just making plays. Just making plays for his QB. Beauty. In the middle third of the field where he threw that one. Up top. Three. Three. Shout out Nikhil Harry. Fading here in the second quarter. Not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. He's got a man complete. Touchdown. There's number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles. And Come on, Trollick. Yo, Benjamin's, like, really giving me problems. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That's going to be caught. They'll look to throw here. Give me those. Saw it. Get off my field, bro. Go home, McCordy. Welcome to freaking Cashville, McCordy. Thank gosh. Okay. One touchdown away from the X Factor breakout. We got a good chance to win. Oof. I needed that. Needed that. Needed that. Needed that. There we go. Byron Murphy. Okay. Stop at the one, Byron. Ooh. That's all right. To the defense. I'm going up top. Don't completion. care. Don't care. Yeah, Nikhil Harry. Go get him, superstar. Go get him, superstar. Oh. Still short yards wise. Nikhil Harry. Freaking Nikhil, bro. Superstar Mariota. Officially X Factor. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, officially the most anticipated moment of the series. I was locked in there. We also had cleaners here, so I couldn't talk that loud. Guys, Marcus Mariota goes absolutely insane. Coach must be having a QB. Definitely, he's our X Factor. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, officially, Marcus Mariota is an X Factor. He is a 99 overall. Um, this is just what we've been waiting for. Hara Master protected. He gets every single great ability in this game. Um, he gets fearless. He gets gunslinger. Fab, fast break. Quite literally everything. Set feet lead, I think, is the best one. Or pass lead elite. And then fearless. These are kind of the abilities that I usually... I, I struggle sometimes. So I always go look at the best X-Factor QB guys. Because I know Dylan's smart. Dylan probably has it all right. He, he got protected inside. Gunslinger, pass lead elite. Haro master. Gunslinger, pass lead elite is the one that he uses. Ooh, I can get dots with him. That's so cool. Pass lead elite. No, yeah, so you want pass lead elite. Where's that? Pass lead elite. Guys, we've waited for this. The dude just got paid about a billion dollars. And now, officially, Marcus Marigoda is a X Factor QB at 25. We have our franchise guy. Unbelievable. 
He gets passing abilities. He gets everything. He's going to be able to throw the ball way faster. And the guy who helped him get it is somebody that I have so much confidence in. It's not even funny. Nikhil Harry officially now leading the entire league in receiving with 1,500 yards on the year. The guy has been quite literally unstoppable. Um, he's going to get another slot upgrade, pushing him to a 79 overall. He's just like, I've been trying to get more touchdowns. Boom, there's the plus one speed I've been waiting for. 91 speed, 91 acceleration. Nikhil Harry with 1,500 yards on the season. Guys, we got the most... Pa oh, he might be MVP candidate, actually. Now I'm looking at this. Shh, don't say anything. Shh, don't talk. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, see you guys next week. Okay, let me tell Browns week. First game with our X Factor. Um, this Jamal Jenkins, bro. I'm just, I'm sick of him. I'm totally, totally, and completely sick of him. I'll show you guys our, you know, worth. We also, um, in the previous thing, and I want to show you guys this because I don't want you guys to be confused. This game was supposed to be played like three hours ago. Um, so I had done the intro at the end, but I don't know if it'll end up in the video. Offensive rookie, look at defensive rookie there, Byron Murphy. Now, Byron Murphy. It's like, you, you cheated, you made this. No, I want to prove to you guys that I, I did upgrades and they may or may not see the video because that game was supposed to be played an hour ago. But let me just show you all. Byron Murphy's now 92 speed, 92 acceleration because of his progressions. You can see, plus one speed upgrade. He was a 91, plus one speed upgrade. His last upgrade before that, plus one speed upgrade. Haters, hey, is what it is. But I'm saying, Byron Murphy, one of the last picks, it has five picks, two sacks, Two TFLs and a great year. This is the first game with Mariota. Let's go. Now Mariota. Look at that throw. So quick, so quick out of his hands. Delaney Walker, first down. On the other side of midfield. So a first and ten upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. They go play action. Mariota. McKeel. Throwing right and that's complete. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms. But I think what they need to do is make some yep. sort of a beam. Oh, my. Good throw, Marcus. Good throw, good throw. Got him. Okay. 7-0. Let's play defense. Hoping for is Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy's got the best potential to win. Um, oh, freebie. That's tough. Oh my gosh, John Smith. Byron Murphy's got the best potential to become a superstar because he's currently second for defensive rookie of the year. If we can get that, it'll be really good. A first down throw for Mariota. That's a dot, Marcus. That is a beautiful throw, Marcus Mariota. Why leave him? That's what I just don't understand. To throw is Kaiser. Look at Smith. Oh, good try, though, Smith. Good dog, bro. That's a good, that's a timing route. You see how that, that's, you don't get that route. So I saw him take that step, and I was assuming it was either going to be Texas or a option route where she goes up, where he goes up. So that's why my user hesitated. Dory's on an island, and I trust him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lucon. To Lorenzo. To Darius, all three hit him. Let's get a like button when you see that. Hey, that's all three of my rookies. That was beautiful. Get over there. Get over there. On second down, Johnson. He'll get it inside the twenty, and he'll take it into the end zone. Here, to pick up the first down and move the chain. No time for that. We gotta just throw. We can't. Don't get to throw the route we want there. We get to throw the route we need to throw. Davis. I don't. I don't. Was it? Did I have a tandem? I maybe had a tandem breakout. No, I did not. If that is not the tandem breakout, I quite frankly don't know what would. Finally, I get one. Look at how Mario is throwing the ball now. Oh, I love this. And this, I don't know. Mm, beautiful. It's a two tight end set that just gives people nightmares. 343, three touchdowns with Mariota. 
Corey has his best game. I'm hoping this was the tandem breakout game. Yep, scenario goal. Davis, 150. Now, if we can continue those, that's where it gets tough. If, if we can get a couple of those in a row, we might be able to get him to a superstar. Because Keel Harry, I thought he was going to be a shoe in to become a superstar. I really did. What do we get? Yep, plus five release. That'll up his overall a ton. And if we continue to get those, we're going to be in great shape. Keel Harry's still second in the league. Okay, let me give you guys an update on just how everything looks. Um, Dwayne Haskins, 34 touchdowns, 13 picks. Christian Hackenberg, 43 and 15. Marcus Marietta, 39 and 8. Andrew Stark, 33 and 18. 26 and 14. Baker Mayfield. Kyler Murray's having an okay rookie year. Um, Cam Newton's having a bit of an off year. Um, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Andrew Luck. Sean Kaiser. Our leading runner is Nick Chubb for the Giants. He got drafted to the Giants. Le'Veon and Lamar Villar, Todd Gurley, Melvin, Jordan Howard, our leaving receiver, Jamal Jenkins, Nikhil Harry, Terry McLaurin, Chosen Anderson, Jordan Matthews, Keenan Allen, DJ Chark, Mike Williams, and our leading sack getters. Let's make sure we see these two, just to guys give you guys an update. Um, 16 for... Bro, what the... What in the world? Oh, that's kind of cool, though, because he, he was like... Dude, there was a time when Sue was like the biggest name in football, Demarcus Lawrence... Miles Garrett, Jordan Willis, Brandon Graham, Robert Quinn, Darius Leonard. But we're like we're having a quietly amazing like season with Darius. Nine sacks and thirteen TFLs for the kid, and eight and a half. He's gonna become one of the better players for me, guys. Hey, got the time to break out? Let's just keep winning. Okay, ladies, we have a nut. It's Christmas. Who is the linebacker? Okay. Less than a buck fifty. Now I don't know. I think we have a Bears. Bears are eight and five. We have an offensive breakout as well. Um, that I think is going to potentially, like I said, this is what. If I just keep throwing to Corey Davis, throw three plus touchdowns against the Bears. Oh, that's not. Oh, I thought it was another Corey Davis. I think the Bears are here. Um, so hoping we get a chance to play the Bears. Um, we're we guess about to find out. Don't know. We'll see you guys either in a minute or we'll see you in Jags Week. That situation, they really become magnified. He's going to go up top Morris, again. I think you're burnt, Morris. And you it's were as advertised, Morris Claiborne. You got torched, kid. That's the real thing. That, that's a, in a situation where I send and I'm leaving one-on-one, -on -one, no safety help, there should be no reason that that ball is completed. Murphy. It's sometimes very obvious. Like here, I can tell you he's in zone, and I can tell you that Johnny Smith, there he potentially just, I think he's in a zone where that guy on the left is in a 25 yard flat. So Johnny Smith will be open right now because that guy's in a 25 yard flat. He's not gonna match on to it. You should know. Like I don't just win MVPs for no reason with Marcus Mariota. See here, he's a man. So now that he's in man, I know last time I had Davis, I just didn't have enough time. So I'm going to make a simple adjustment. Ooh. He actually fooled me a little bit. Good catch. Nakiel. That's why you freaking go. They go play action. Mariota. Yeah, you got room there, Mariota. There we go. Okay. I'm looking Johnny Smith. If I am going to have a dot, it's Johnny. Back of the end zone. Got to catch it. Let's go, John Who Smith. No. Fourth down. Ooh. That's why you got to run in that situation. In my mind, you have to run there. They're going on fourth down. It's Trubisky. That was about as clutch as a $3 stake. Oh, what a duck. See how he just put that guy on the outside in like a 25-yard zone? We're almost certain he did, actually. I ain't worried about it right now. See, with four seconds left, I don't get this. 100% cool, but look at that. Look at that clock management. Throwing here, Trubisky. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is caught. And he is in. Has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And that's caught inside the 35. Nobody does that better than Corey. This, this is actually not a good situation. Here's Mariota. requires it it just requires a laser like sometimes you just you just need a laser now 
Trubisky to throw. He's Come on, Dory. Is the waiting, Dory? And this is <laughs> Push him back. He's gonna call a spade a spade. I don't love this situation. I just don't know what he's gonna guard. He guarded it. Okay. Oh gosh. Only chance here. Let's tackle Trawick. Let's dance. All I need is a field goal, too. Mm, Trawick. If we win this game, it's all Trawick. I could probably tie up to Nikhil Harry here. Desperation time. Mariota on fourth down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught inside the five. One and six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just like Give me those. It's gonna be a costly one. It's My goodness. I told you, when he gave me 50 seconds, Delaney drops that, which was bizarre. But then I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go up top. I had no time. Had, had he gotten tackled, I would have had zero time to do anything. Luckily for us, he seemingly breaks every tackle every single time. It's He's the greatest thing ever. Corey Davis is the best. No abilities, Corey Davis. I like him better that way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jacksonville. I think Jacksonville might be a force win. They're 5-8. I'm pretty sure they'd be out of the playoffs. I don't think I'm going to get this. Almost no, we don't. I know. That's tough. I don't think we got either breakout, but at the end of the day, we got the win to keep us 13 and one because the Jets are 11 and three. So you got to keep in mind we're two losses away and we don't have the tiebreaker. So as long as we don't lose two more games, the one seed is all but pretty much all but ours. So cross our fingers for that, guys. We'll either see you in week 16 or week 17. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whoa, the show goes on. What a season! That line, I thought we were. I thought we were done against the Bears. I thought we were cooked, bro. I really, I was like, yeah, no, this is, we're in trouble. We clutched it. And now, essentially, like I said, I have a, a two-game lead on the number one seed with three tough games, though. That's that's not, um, it's not necessarily safe because every game that I'm about to play is not going to be an easy one. Corey Davis gets an upgrade, which is awesome. Um, that's going to get him to a 93 true overall, plus one acceleration, plus two spin move, which is great. 10 out of the 1, John New gets an upgrade. Let's go, John New. We love him, man. Oh, man, I love Johnny Smith. 89 overall, plus 3 medium, plus 2 release. Foyasade Olukon. Now, he is only 2 away from getting... Um, yeah, plus 2 man coverage. He's only 2 away from getting his next ability. Lorenzo Carter, probably. Ah, it's hard to know. I did draft him in the second round. Like, he wasn't a late pick by any means. And he did a lot of things um, right. He's got great tackling, um, but just one of those guys who hasn't quite became insane at this point is kind of what I'm trying to say. Now, essentially, to end the season, my biggest goals, uh, personal goals, are win MVP, number one, and I think we have a good chance of doing it. Oh my gosh, freaking nerd. Um, win Offensive Player of the Year and win Defensive Rookie of the Year. I'm like literally the bridesmaid in every, like, award right now always the bride me never the bride okay 13-1 let's go could be cover zero could be a lot of johnny it's now stretched over multiple months on play action mariota john who 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 john who Oh my goodness, that's a dot. Byron Murphy! Byron Murphy! Byron Murphy! Oh my gosh, what a pickup he was. What a our rookie class, was it last year was who? Last year, who was our rookie class? Help me out. No, this is only our second rookie class. We had Darius and Olukon. This year we have Murphy and Shaq. We're not taking the flashy picks, but we're taking the guys who were freaking winners. My oh my Murphy, that was beautiful. Oh, I'm going up top to Nikhil Harry, bro. I know that you're gonna match to that dude. Hey, I already know Jalen Ramsey. I know how this game works. Okay, I've won a lot of Super Bowls, man. I know exactly what your cover four is gonna do when it sees Johnny run over there. It's gonna give me an inch. If you give an inch, I'm gonna take a mile. Nikhil Harry, dot. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Going 
deep here for Come on, Dory. Come on, Dory. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Fired. Did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. He is in a cover four. So there's obvious i I'll like I said I'm gonna give you guys one. I can run this play in like a hundred different ways against what people are doing. So like here, he's in, I know he's in man coverage. So I know Corey Davis will be open. I just know that I probably need to distract him with something. So if I move this over, the alignment of that outside corner is going to go weird. And Corey Davis on a back shoulder throw will probably be open. If not, I know it's man. Before the play, I know what it is. One of the two will be open. Janu Smith. Two thumbs up. You can't fool me right now. I'm just playing the game I did. You just you won't fool me. Come here. SWAT team. No, SWAT team. Oh, Mariota off the back foot. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. That worked quite well for the defense. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Oh my gosh, I just hit a clip. Thousand IQ, hit the like button, you see it. TikTok that, buddy. Oof, I just hit a clip. Oof. Got him, John. Who, Smith? Okay. GG's, bro. GG's, okay. That's going to help our MVP case. That was a bit of a game. That was a bit of a game. Four touchdowns. Um, defensively, we had the fumble. Caused by Byron Murphy, and we're fourteen and one. We have uh, we really have not taken a step back. We this is like I said, this is Mariota's season where he's like, yeah, I'm the best quarterback in the league. Like I don't don't at me, don't talk to me. I'll make all of, I'll I'll throw to every single one of my receivers and be better than you. I'll take a rookie in Nikhil Harry and make him the best. Let's go, week seventeen, ladies and gentlemen, playoffs. Well, okay, I gotta show you guys something. Derek's here. You guys ever Derek from the last Super Bowl when we beat the Seahawks? Derek was sitting there. Derek comes to the playoff games. Okay. The other thing for playoff games, I will officially be wearing a helmet. Um, I will not be wearing a helmet. No. I thought that helmet, it's just for show. There's like a tin thing that didn't, it didn't fit. It was, it was an idea. Guys, I just want to show you this. And can we get a hashtag Mario in the comments down below? This is why I did the series. And I, I've said it a hundred times. I love Marcus Mariota. He's my favorite player. Um, probably will be one of my favorite players of all time forever. Just the type of guy he was. We just won MVP with him. Um, and we've, we've done, we've played this offense. We've, we've done this game in the right way. Um, sadly, Nikhil Harry got absolutely like in those two wins that we got at the end of the year, we got brutally cheated statistically in those two wins. We're playing the Colts. Obviously, there's lots to unpack with the fact that we're playing the Colts. Uh, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. But with getting those two force wins at the end, we had all right days with Mariota. But, like, bro, where was Nikhil? Three for 16 in that one. And then this one. Three. Like, bro. Oh, worked out good for everybody else but us, unfortunately. Guys, we also have a breakout DB in the playoffs. This is it, okay? Derek, sit with me. We won MVP, but our job is not done. Who is the DB? This is the thing. Oh, I could definitely get this. Dejon Smith is actually a stud. Dejon Smith is actually kind of a stud. Okay, let me go see Dejon Smith. Because he... He is actually, he's a young guy. Oof. That would be an amazing break. I don't, I don't know, maybe he's like, he might be actually like 28, 26. That would be a really cool breakout for us if we, if we can somehow pull this off. Now, guys, we're in the divisional. Let's do our upgrades. Let's, let's talk about things. Nothing matters. You can get the number one seed. You can have a great season. If you lose in the divisional, no one cares. This is Andrew Luck. This is YouTuber versus YouTuber. Mr. Retro versus TD Barrett. This is what the people pay to see. And everybody is about to witness it. Holy smoly. Okay, I got upgrades, man. Uh, I get some strong upgrades. This is it. Andrew Luck, Mariota, the battle that the world has waited to see. Um, Tua gets an upgrade as well, which is awesome. His speed rusher is going to go up to an 87 overall. 
plus two finesse moves, plus two pursuit. Kevin, by whole oh, Olu Khan, bro. KB's been so good for us. I, I did love Kevin Byard. He said to me, this Colts matchup, I'm, I'm rambling a ton. This Colts matchup is not what I want. I'll be honest. This is, this is if I were to hand pick who I play, this probably wouldn't be it. Um, pick artist and under pressure. What else do I want? Why don't I give him mid zone KO? I like that a lot. Under pressure. And that way when I put him in zones, he'll, um, he'll force knockouts. Derek Henry, who's still very quiet, bro. I apologize to all you Derek Henry. I apologize. I know. I know you hate me. Byron Murphy, I'll have to see if he won the award. I forgot to actually look to see if he, if he won anything. But um, Byron Murphy, he is now officially an 85. Let's see. Plus two awareness, plus four press. Corey Levin, Kevin Dodd, and Brandon Trawick um, is going to get an upgrade as well because... He goes up to a 78 overall. Okay, I'm done with these upgrades. Sorry, that was way. I just I want to play in the playoffs. I'm ready, bro. This is so we're going for. I want to see if Byron Murphy got anything. I would be a little bit surprised if he won it. He was close, but there was another rookie um, who I think ended up getting it. Yeah, like oh, hate that guy. Oh, I hate everything. Bro. My goodness. Okay, we, we won nothing. We got, hey, MVP. I'm happy with MVP. Take that to the bank. Um, defensively, because MVPs are just cool. We got 12 sacks with Darius. Olukon, 7. Interceptions, 5. We had a really, really, really off year for Morris Claiborne. He's going to lose his superstar faster than his face can spin. Um, let's go look at the Colts real quick. Look at this roster and just kind of see how we're going to plan on attacking this. Andrew Luck made a lot of mistakes. Um at the end of the day, he's Andrew Luck. He has all the best abilities in the game. This is not the type of guy you want to see. He's got Le'Veon Bell, who's a stud. Philip Dorsett, T.Y. Hilton. Um, defense is Marquise Blair, Kenny Moore. Good defense. I, I, I know how I'm going to beat him. I'm just going to score more points. I'm not going to make him. Dwayne Haskins leads the NFL. Then Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Hackenberg, Kyler Murray. Um, Nick Chubb, Le'Veon Bell, Lamar Murray, James Conner. i just like to show you guys how the NFL has kind of changed with stats so you guys can all see. We ended up second in the NFL. Never got a breakout. Just bananas to me. Just makes completely zero sense. Um, 17 for Sue. Both the top. Solomon, Randy Gregory. Uh, and then interceptions, 8 for Cam Chancellor. Richard Sherman on their head. Six guys. Put up or shut up. Let's go, Derek. Choose today to be great. Let's just... I actually want to throw the ball in first down. As surprising as that may be. I, want, I just want to set the tempo with a little throw. Oftentimes in almost every game, especially playoff games, I'll come out and I'll run the ball. That's the obvious thing to do. Got him. Nikhil Harry. Go for a run, Nikhil. Go for a run, kid. There we go. He picked up on it. He picked up on exactly what I was doing right there. Mmm, that was stupid. Get back. Him getting to the red zone is not good. He's not good in the red zone. I know this guy so well. I've played him in so leagues, so many leagues. I'm just not afraid of him in the red zone. That's the thing. That that's where my head's at. He he needs to score on a play like this. He should be trying. Like the closer he gets, he doesn't realize. The closer he gets, the more confident that I get that he won't score. I know that sounds super arrogant and it could potentially come back to bite me, but he just in the past has not proven to be a very good red zone player. There we go to it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pass commit because I want a little bit of pressure. Bagged. Got him. What commits? My gut tells me Corey Davis is going to be open here, but that's just what my gut tells me. Oh no. Oh no, you better not. You better not leave Delaney. Good thought, Marcus. You gotta go, DeMarco. See here, I, this is two kind of modes of ways of thinking about this. 
So you can either like, I think on these fourth downs, I like to play aggressive. If in my head right now, I know I'm going for two. If I know that, which I don't know if I necessarily do. I would go very aggressive right here and try and get one-on-one -on, -one on Nikhil Harry, which I know I'm going to get, and go up top. That's kind of the way I was thinking about it. And I got it. That's a bean. I'm going to use it as much. So. Oh my gosh. Can just... Up the middle, here's Bell. He's playing this weird. Guys, I am sick. Oh, okay, we are beyond close right now to getting a pick. We are so close. Oh my gosh. So three seconds here remain in the We're sickeningly close to, to lurking him for points. six right now. And I'm just I'm banking on this first drive. He gives me seven and we we go. No, he didn't, he didn't cross it. It's a C route though. Yeah, got him. Byron Murphy! The rookie! The rookie! Good job, Byron! Good job, Byron! Back to the well here. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense already trailing. They're gonna be horrible potentially. Play fake, Mariota. Honestly, John U, bro. John. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. The kicker, Jason Myers, for the field goal try. No. Dash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Oh. Myers kick is good. Now he can it's run the ball again, which he's gonna do right here. Now he can run the ball again. Try to reestablish some momentum here, Charles, but they're trailing. He can play with more confidence, like just on throws like that. Oh, screen here, bro. Off of play action. Locked. And it's the right side here. Complete. He's gonna have the first down and game all even after that last I wanna touchdown. see this. So heat. every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Up top, Nikhil. This guy's I, I'm not gonna go super slow on this drive. Because I don't necessarily feel as though that I can't stop him. So because I kind of feel like I can stop him, I just wanna score. Like I, I wanna I wanna get to the one and deal with life once we get to the one. I feel like I am in the driver's seat. I feel in control here. Oh, wow. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Mary Oda. Let's go, Mary Oda. Come here. Good job, Kevin. Good job, Kevin. Nervous, you can tell. This, this could be a post corner. No, sir. No, sir. Now we just make him earn it, bro. There's the run commit. Step on him. Good job, DeMarco. Score yourself, but now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Oh, I go out of bounds. That's so fun on that part. To take a crazy risk. Go pop pass. No, Johnu. Commissioner Johnu. And the hole closes quickly here. He can take 47. Game forthcoming. Myers kick is okay. There for the Titans now here for third down. Luck now to throw. Oh. Dude, Luck's gonna retire again. Luck is on his way out, I'm telling ya. Luck is about to be on his way out. I'm gonna hard flat that guy just to mess with him a little bit. See, that's where I feel like I get cheated right there. I hard flatted that guy. He threw it directly into, I knew where Earn was gonna throw that ball. I could have told you easily that that was exactly where Earn was throwing that ball. He just threw it, just didn't get rewarded for it. See that to me, I, that there I feel cheated. That's a beam. GGs, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom, boom! Let's go. Love you guys. Good win. Oh my gosh. Hey, we battled a little bit of adversity right there. That was not an easy game. Um, I would say I he got cheated and I got cheated. 
and I had a couple different things. Most like mine was mostly the catch. I am the type of Madden player who I'm not gonna like always just, like pretend like oh I will I get cheated and then when so no this guy got cheated, he did. I got the Madden was on my side in this game, hundred percent. And um, it's sometimes not on my side, but I will own the fact that I think he probably in some ways played a better game than me. I don't think it's way better, but in some ways I think he probably deserved to win that game. Guys, we're moving on. And when you get the one seed, we're one game away. I'm going to just keep it simple. I'm going to keep it quiet. One game away. One game away. Nikhil Harry had a great touchdown here on a third and two. He just did what he's been doing all year. Moss is the guy. Now, I would be more than willing to bet that I can tell you who I'm playing next week. Um, I would be more than willing to bet that. Uh, I, I'm almost certain it'll be the Jets. It'll be a rematch. It'll be a rematch against the Jets to go to the Super Bowl. I, I would be shocked if he loses that game. I don't know. Don't know what the outcome's going to be, but I, I would be shocked if the Jets lose to the Raiders. So... Either way, it's going to be two tough games to finish out the season. We've done all we can up until this point. We got the win. We got a chance to repeat. In case you guys don't know, I did win the Super Bowl last year. No, I'm trying to make a dynasty of my Titans. We're close. Hey, imagine I win four in a row with Mariota. Imagine the smiles. Imagine the smiles. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, one game away. I was actually a little bit, and I know I've been sick. I was a little sick for the last game. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna pretend like I was. I kind of had a fever. Um, feeling a bit better today. I've just been sick a lot lately. Um, like just colds, like not, nothing too crazy. Um, but guys, we're one game away and we have yet to lose with Derek. We are one game away from getting the Titans to back to back Super Bowls like Shaq. Now, <clears throat> AFC championship is against the only person who beat me this season. I'm 16 and one. If you guys have watched the videos, you know who the number, you know who the one is. The one is the guy we are about to play right now. Um, he's got Christian Hackenberg. He's made Hackenberg into Hacking Goat, as he calls him. I just can't even. It's just too much. Um, Darius Leonard is having an amazing season. He's going to go to a true 88 overall. Shout out Darius Leonard. He is as advertised as I knew what I was getting. Second year guy who's just become amazing. Now, what do we do? How do we beat this guy? Because last game we didn't. Um, last game we just didn't. I think the mistakes, and I'm going to look through, because oftentimes when I lose to an opponent... I like to go back and see what I mess up. So he's got Hackenberg, Chosen Anderson, um, Jamal Adams, Quincy Anua, Marcus May, Dawson Knox. Hackenberg's his best guy, but he can't move around very well. Two good receivers um, that he puts, I believe, yeah, short in and short out on. His secondary is bad. His secondary and his safeties aren't great. Wow, May is a superstar? Bruh, that's tough. Deep out zone KO. My gosh. May is a superstar. Dang. Okay. Um, essentially, guys, our first time we play... I'm going to get lucky turn. What's your guys' favorite cereal if you're watching right now? Let me know. Um, I'm not going to get cereal on camera anymore. That was too much. Um, the first time we played him... We lost. Where did I make mistakes? I had two picks. I only ran the ball five times. That's going to change. We're going to run the ball about 15 times. Johnny went crazy. Nikhil went crazy. Guys, let's not overthink it. I know how good we are. We're one game from the dance. Let's go. Second and five. It's complete to an end On the move past the 40. Sit him down. Okay, this is a bit of a different offense. They're gonna look to throw. And the throw here, that's complete. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. He's gonna flip it's good defense. to his running back. They'll look to throw again. Come here, good defense. Yes, sir! And we'll back him up. Give me a field goal, please. Right hash mark of 42 yard attempt. And his kick is good. Here's Murray now. Go DeMarco Murray. First down. Playoff DeMarco. We get ball at half, so this drive I don't I don't necessarily need to rush. Um, I don't want to play slow by any means, but I, I definitely 
could play a little bit slower. I just want to see how he defends all this. Like, the run, I want to see. I just, I'm really curious to know how he's going to defend this. That was actually fun. Go, Corey. Go, Corey. Go! Hold, Corey Davis. Quick snap versus cover two. Got to love it. He was trying to make a bunch of different adjustments as soon as I he came out there and I knew he was trying to run a zone. May do something fancy. I was going to snap that ball as fast as I possibly could. No adjustments were set. Dang, good throw. Mm. Go, Murray. Good run. Beam. Nice throw, Mariota. 250 left. Oh. I didn't love that. Dang, that was a bad sequence of events. Yeah, I tried to quick snap him, but he was not in cover for a match. He was in, I probably could have waited and thrown to Johnny, but. Come here. Okay. We're actually going to probably get the ball back here. Unless he's going for this, I think there's a chance we get. Let's go! Good defense, guys. Okay, 23 seconds to get three. That was huge. My gosh, our defense is clutched out for us. Now we got 20 seconds to try and make something happen. It's not a high percent chance, but it's not zero. Good job, Johnu. Nice catch, Johnu. Yep. Run it, be smart. Run it, be smart. Again, it's Murray. Come on, Murray. Good run, kid. Got him. Yes, sir. DeMarco. Good run, Murray. Mm. Red zone threat. He said the only person on my team not absolutely exhausted was Delaney Walker. Holy mo that hurry up drive absolutely took years off these dudes like beam Delaney. Derek missed that one. Sorry, I got it got stressful, Derek. When the going gets tough, Derek, I had to sit up a little bit. Okay, defense, one stop, fellas, one stop, one stop, one stop, back to back, let's go. I want to go to the Super Bowl again. Ooh, stay in. Stay fair. I put, yeah, a Dory. Finding Dory. Finding Dory. You found him. He was in a match. Deep zone, by the way. That wasn't just man. That was the next adjustment. Off the play fake. Mariota. Jeff Delaney. John U. Good job, Smith. Beam Delaney Walker. Take the clock down. Seven wins us a game. Seven wins us a game. Go, DeMarco. Go, DeMarco. Oh, my God. That's tough. Oh, I hate having to do this. I really do. I absolutely hate, 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 hate that I have to do this. That, that's that been my play for the last three seasons, though. Like, I can't not go to it in that spot. We get stopped on a fourth and inches. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
Myers kick is good. <sighs> He'll look to throw. Looking middle and that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. He's back to throw. Come here. Throwing middle and it's Bro! And they're gonna get this no to midfield. Chance that's, that's real. Oh my gosh, Byron Murphy. They just they just threw the game to you, Byron. Oh my gosh, they just threw the game to Byron Murphy. They quite literally just threw the game at Byron Murphy. That went right through his head. No chance, Titans. No chance. It's better defense, guys. It's not actually like I'm not impressed with this clock management. He's just quick snapping me to death right now. And he got me. They'll look to throw. Finding a safety valve here. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Come here. Get alert, kid. Horrible. Get off my field with that clock management. Oh my gosh, this is him. This is my this is my impression of Darian on the final draft. Darian, yep, Darian. I got him. I got a new one. I got a new one. Get off my field. Thing is, he tried to play the game. He tried to play the, the clock game, and he played himself. He, he took the clock all the way down, completely played himself in that spot. Like, there's no other way to say it other than the fact that he played himself. He was trying to play the long game of, like, I'm just going to take the clock down on Brett, yada, yada, yada. No. You played yourself. Let's go. Come on. Super Bowl. Bowl me again. I want another ring. I want another one. Not like the other one. We want more. Come on. I'm freaking good right now. Not losing. Let's go. See you guys in the bowl. Hope it's the Seahawks. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl. Let's go. Hey, we did it, fellas. We did it. We got to play my nemesis. The guy who you guys know is Evan Evan. The Giants. Oh, and, okay, we got some things to talk about. Some really good things to talk about. Byron Murphy went up to Superstar in the office. Nikhil Harry just went up to a star, which was pretty devastating. But Byron Murphy going to Superstar was is low-key really, really, really huge. Let me just show you guys. Um, Nikhil Harry um, got an upgrade for us. He went up one development to Star Dev. Kind of shocks me. You can have 1,700 yards and all those touchdowns. and mm, I'll sit my tea. Uh, another great thing that happened. Darius Leonard went up to X Factor. So Darius Leonard is now officially an X Factor. Um, dude's one of the best players in the entire league. Like, just, he's he's unstoppable. He's really, 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 really good. And I, I have some uh, things that I want to talk about, how, what I'm going to do, um, given the player that we're playing. I want to do, can I do, can I do no outsiders with him? I can't. Hmm. Probably go secure tackler on him. The guy we're playing, like I said, this is Evan. He's running a very run-heavy set. Morris Claiborne, as you know, he actually stays superstar. That was the most shocking thing for me. Dude is peaking in his 30s. But this was awesome. Byron Murphy, with that season that he had, goes to superstar. We're sadly one upgrade away from getting him a second ability, but I am totally good with inside shade. It'll help me when I play man coverage against this dude. Uh, and then obviously KB is still superstar as well. Guys, okay. Super Bowl, man. I got a chance with Marcus Mariota to see this dude on the podium back to back like Shaq. Okay, his team. Nick Chubb, 99 overall Nick Chubb. Receivers, OBJ. He's weak. After OBJ is weak. I am considering using... He beat Dylan. This guy beat the Seahawks. He's good. I'm considering using OBJ and just like letting my other guys just destroy his team. That's kind of where I'm looking at. Jason Pierre-Paul and Vernon. Oof. So you have two speed rushers. Edge threat and double or nothing. He's going to get heat. That's going to be something we got to worry about right here. Edge threat and double or nothing. That is a true worry. Plus, he's got an X factor. Okay. No. Jonathan Calais. Okay. Sherman. He's got a good team. Let's go look at his stats just to see how he did. Um, 
on the year try and formulate exactly how we are going to pull this off. I don't think his stats would have been better than mine. That's all I'm going to say. 25 touchdowns and 7 picks. He ran for 1,600 yards. I think he's toting the rock, bro. I think he's running the rock. Even when I just see that, that's all I need to know is, okay, to it, all run-stopping abilities. Both of them. If, if there is a second good ability with to it that I can use to stop the run, I'm, I'm going to do it. Because... Tuit currently has Reach Elite and Inside Stuff. I want to keep Inside Stuff on him, but I want to go Run Stopper because I feel like that'll help. He's going to play in the middle, and I want him to have a big part of that. Um, Kevin Byard, I'm going to keep his abilities, the Deep Out Elite. Uh, pick Iris and Deep Out Zone KO. He's been really good with that. It's media day, fellas. We got a chance to do something that's very rarely done, um, is to go back to back. It's all I care about. I, it, it truly is all I care about. With my favorite team, I up until this year, I'd never won a Super Bowl with my favorite team. I got a chance to go back to back, make the Titans the greatest dynasty in sports. Let's go talk to the media real quick and see what they got to say. Unfortunately, it's against my nemesis. So, is what it is. But we find a way. Good players find ways in big games. DeMarco Murray, let's go be great. Hey, Super Bowl, let's dance. Oh, Marcus, we back. Marcus, come on, man. Madden football is the home Nikhil of the Harry, bro, what a season he's had. Every one-on-one -on -one situation, the, the guy has been an absolute beast for us. He's only star dev. It is what it is. Um, he wouldn't have gotten match. abilities anyways. OBJ is who we got to try and stop. OBJ is 100% reason, the reason that we're going to lose sleep. The guy is unbelievable in this. Um, and we get to kick. Okay, defense, let's go be great, fellas. Let's get a stop. Come on, man. Back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. Oh my. Oh. Yo, I almost just lurked on the very freaking first play. I almost just lurked on. Oh, goodness gracious, man. Rundy's there, though. Rundy's what killed Dylan. Dylan lost. The Seahawks lost because they couldn't stop the run. I don't. I don't want to be that same guy. Darius and Darius. Yep, no sir. Yeah, let's, let's get a defense. Let's get sure a defense on the field. He's running the six one. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh! Cut on a dime, Demarco. Cut on a dime, kid. Well done. Third and short yardage, Mariota. He's got a man. Now on second and thirteen, Mariota. Come on. Good job. Third and five. Oh, make a play, Brett. Make a play. This is, these are these are the type of situations that the Super Bowl comes down to. Plays like this. Plays like this. In big time spaces like this one. Smith will come in motion right. Let's catch Nikhil. And they're gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 23. Back to the ground game. Here's Come on, DeMarco. Oh. He's taken down in motion right is Smith. He dropped it. Smith will come in motion right. Got him. This is got him, got him, got him. Come on, man. Freaking do this. Throwing his borders on third down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Frolic. In the 
We're doing a good job against the run. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. Come here. Got him. Finally, we got him. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to call a timeout here for multiple reasons. I want to get the right defense out here. That's the, main, that's the main reason. I want to get the right defense for this play. Got him. What? Come here. I can't. I can't. I'm going to lose it, fellas. I'm going to lose it. I, I'm sorry. I'm about to lose my mind. I'll apologize later. I'm about to lose my mind. Oh, my gosh. No, no, same thing. Yeah. I'd be shocked if he punts this football. I think he's gonna take the delay. Wow. I think he is incredibly, incredibly confident. Off the play fake, Mariota. He's out. Play fake, Mariota. He'll get this to his tight end. No, he's not. No, he did not. No, he did not. No, he did not. John, who? Come on! Freaking Johnny! Walker, the tight end in motion. They just get the playoff now, Mariota. I can throw it over that. I know, I know that. I know that's a 30-yard zone you just put over there. I know you're double flatting with a 30, but I just want you to know I can throw over that. Okay. As soon as I saw him, that guy adjust, I knew that was a 30 yard, and I know I can throw over a 30 with that route. But with that height of receiver, I know it's doable. Where's your user, Cole? Where's your user, Cole? Go, DeMarco! Don't get stopped. Got him. Mariota, baby. Marcus, am I about to break the freaking curse against this guy in playoff games? Don't blink. I, I've lost to this guy in like five straight playoff games. Don't blink. We might be breaking it. I gotta lurk him on one of these quick throws. Look at Darius Leonard. Look at Darius Leonard, though. Playing that stretch run, 11 for 37. Eventually, we gotta play the streak. He's just, he's just got a streak out there. He wants this run. Yes, sir. Run D. I am deuce close. You're not deuce close. Man up. I'll be on, on him. Byron Murphy, make the play. Hi. Come on! Freaking adjusty! I know what you're doing, Evan. I know it. Called that play from the jump. I said, man up, Murphy. Murphy, go win us the Super Bowl. Back to back like freaking Shaq. Come on. One stop, fellas. One stop. One or one more touchdown, and we're, we're in really good shape. I just don't want to do anything stupid here. That's my that's my biggest fear is doing something stupid. Um, we get, we're in field goal range. It's a tough. There's a lot of tough decisions. There's different modes of thinking on this. I think you play this a little bit smart, and you try and run the ball and see if you can. Like, he's got really good defense in so I'm honestly potentially running here, if I'm being honest. I just, I want to be up three scores. Hit it, Jason. Like I said, there, a pick is the only way that I could see myself. And if I lose now, I lose. No, no. He's got nothing. He can't pass. He's got Blake Bortles. He's trying to run on these. He thought I probably thought I was pass coming in. You have no idea how much satisfaction I'm getting out of beating this guy. I he's a good dude, really good player, but like it's he's a nemesis, bro. He he caused me a lot of losses in this series. Move everybody back. He's gonna try and bomb you. Send 14 people and play the middle. He doesn't even need to guard that. Get him to play the that tight end. I'm playing everything on this side and I'm sending enough people so that his head's gonna spin. No, sir. Please. Please get off my field, OBJ. 
DeMarco running like a stallion, baby. Come on. Undefeated when we got Derek. Undefeated with Derek, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, those throws. Like on the first drive. Oh, that, like he's, he's good out of this team. He is. The thing I respect about the guy I'm playing, he's Canadian. He also plays the team he has. So we, I respect him because he made the Super Bowl running the ball with Blake Bortles. Infield fly. Oh my. Bro, down 16 points. I need three to officially end. Imagine I lose this. Imagine. Imagine I lose this game. Just try. Try your best to imagine that. I want to lose this. There you go, DeMarco! Good run, Murray. Should be GG's, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, the man. Let, let me let me introduce you all to the man, the myth, the Marcus Mary Freaky Gota. Never in my career, I've never played better Madden than this. I have never been this good at Madden in my life. I kid you not. I am playing defense and offense at the highest level of my career, and I truthfully could not be happier. So thank you all who watch the videos. We're about to shout out to all my Titans fans out there. If you're out there, shout out to you. We just did something very great. We just went, I just got the chance to go back to back with my favorite team in the entire world. What, what else can I ask for, man? In a, in, a, in a career, in a job, what else can I ask for other than going back to back with my favorite freaking team? love you all man from the bottom of my freaking heart i love you all i love this job and like this is why i lose to this guy three playoffs in a row in packers i lose to him in dolphins league four, i lose to him four times in a row four times i lose to this guy in a row yes he didn't have gunslinger yes my team's better but this is what it's all about you lose to someone four times in a row you get him on the fifth time GG's fellas. Marcus. I don't want to scream because I don't want to scream my voice. See, you can hear that. Do it for freaking Derek. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. Let's go. I'm getting pictures. This is my favorite time of the throwback league, man. Hey, I'm reinventing the entire NFL. And freaking getting dubs, man. I'm getting dubs. We went back to 2015 and I'm making my team the GOAT, bro. I'm making my team the freaking best. Mariota, back to back like Shaq, baby. Oh my gosh. Two time. Oh, I love that. I love that. The anger with Marcus Mariota. The anger. Let's freaking go, man. Byron Murphy. The not flashy pick at pick number 29 in the draft. Nobody else wanted Byron Murphy. I did. He's great. He's got great catching. He's a stud. And he's not overly fast. We got two speed upgrades with him. And he made the play that won us the Super Bowl. Third and eight, I man him up. I told you guys he's not in his zone. I told you he's in man. I literally called that adjustment. Knew he was going to throw it there. And Byron Murphy gets a pick. Shout out Byron Murphy. I love that pick for me. That was He's done everything. I took two non-flashy picks. I didn't get me Cole Hardman. I wasn't taking the most AJ Brown. I was taking some of these guys who are really good IRL that nobody really cares about or thinks about that much. And that's how you win Super Bowls, bro. That, my friends, is how you win Super Bowls. This is Jonu. Jonu. Look at this. You want to talk to me about Jonu? You want to talk to me about what Jonu means to this franchise? Why did we ever get rid of this guy? I had no timeouts left. All he had to do was tackle me. I swerve on a dime. I and here I'm like, do I go for it? I'm like, do I go for it? And I did. And he gets out of the tackle. Please, 10,000 freaking likes on this. Let us continue to take this to present time. What if I freaking three-peat with my favorite team in the world? I would scream. I honestly think I might scream. Um, guys, what a season. 38 to 15. So in our rewrote history, 
all the way back to 2015. And these, these years are not accurate. Um, let me go into the next one. I want to see who wins MVP. It's probably DeMarco Murray, low-key. Okay, season recap. This is, this is what I'm here for. Marcus Mariota wins his first Super Bowl MVP, NFL MVP, and Super Bowl MVP. Mary Goda is now signed for like 40 freaking years. Um, we're dominant right now. We really, really, really are. This guy, love him. Absolutely love him so much. Um, can't say enough good things about him. Like, bro, he's the GOAT. In my, two, in my three years with him, last year, I, we had more of a running year to win the Super Bowl. This year, we got Nikhil Harry, and I said, I'm throwing it up. I said, I'm throwing it up to him. I don't care. I'll throw for 53 touchdowns. Don't at me. They, they said I couldn't. 489. Guys, we're changing it. Changing freaking the game, man. Oh, this makes me so happy. Guys, please kill like button. We're, we're, we, I want to get back to present time. I want to get to the present draft is the goal of this. Um, because like I said, this is, a, this is a rewrite history franchise. Um, I love you all. We went back to back with my favorite team. Shout out, Derek. No free shout out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you do to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like. Even if you don't like hockey, give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.